Google and ChatGPT both suck for research. Google, you have to sit through manipulated results and adverts. ChatGPT makes things up and hallucinates. If you're a student, a business person, a marketer, anyone who wants supercharged research, then you need to be using Perplexity AI. So this is the homepage of Perplexity. You'll notice it's very similar to ChatGPT or any of the AI models. You've got your normal chat window area here and different settings underneath. And through this video, if you're wondering like, oh, what prompts do I use? How do I get this to work? Well, you can actually head over to my mega prompt chest. This thing's got over 90 prompts in here now, maybe even up to 100. And you can see we've got a massive research section in here. So there's a ton of research prompts you can get. There's a link in the description below where you can get all of these. Now, kicking off with just a basic search, say something like, what is the market size for dark kitchens in the UK? If you run that search, you see it's going to take a slightly different route to chat GPT and actually work as an AI search engine without having to click through a ton of blue links like you would do on Google. So you could see there, it went through and it picked through 20 sources for us. It didn't use its internal training data and knowledge or anything. It actually went and did the research off these 20 sources to provide its answer. Now, the cool thing in here as well, it's not just made anything up because everything is referenced with multiple sources. So you can go through, check all these stats. So if you're doing a research report, you're writing content, you're studying something that you need references and citations to, they're all there for you to go and check and double check the work and include in all your work, which is awesome. Or you can actually pick through these in a list like you would do on Google, I guess, uh, for yourself to start actually digging into each of these particular articles and where the information is. So in that sense, it is really quick and easy to use with accuracy for just these basic searches. Now, if we go back to the homepage here as well, you'll see there's lots of different features built in that I'm going to build up to and show you how to use. We've got a deeper research tool. We've also got a labs tool, which is an agent that's going to take things to the next level. Plus, the basic search functions are also aided by this LLM button where you can switch between tools. So we can select best and it's going to select the best AI model based on our query, um, whether it's the perplexity large language model that is inbuilt, Claude Sonnet, we've got Gemini from Google, we've got Grok4, we've got ChatGPT in here as well. So you can switch between these based on the task you're doing. If you know you want to use Claude or ChatGPT for some particular output, but match it with perplexity's research focus, then you can use that. Now, the other button in here that's cool as well is this sources area. Now, obviously, we want to keep web on because we want to search across the entire in internet, but we can also add in academic papers, which I always think, why not? Why wouldn't I want to reference academic papers? We can go for social and discuss and opinions from places like Reddit and social media. And we can even add in SEC filings to expand into the financial areas as well. So depending on what you're researching, if you're doing something that you know, you don't want people's opinions, then turn that off. If you actually are researching market research, then you could turn social opinions on. Plus, you can use dictation to talk to it and give your prompts that way. You can also use voice mode back and forth and attach and upload files or connect up your Google Drive. Now on to our research task, and we want to get this nicely set up before we start plundering information. So what we want to do is we want to hit this spaces button and create a space. This is where we can store all of the research for one particular project. So we'll get all of our conversation and threads nicely collated below here so they're not strewn everywhere. Plus, we can add special instructions. So we could just put this as business plan research because that's what I'm going to take you through today. Whether you're a business student or a business person looking to build case studies or real life business plans, we're going to go through that today. And description of what this space is for and how to use it. You can put anything you want in there. We could also add files if we wanted to add particular knowledge sources that we wanted to pull from, links from around the web if we want specific URLs to be prioritized, if we've got maybe we're doing it for a specific business and we want to add their, their website in there. And we can add custom instructions about how we want the AI to respond, if we want it to be formal, academic, fun, in certain structure, whether you want stuff coming out in table formats, listicles, and obviously make sure we've got web search turned on. Plus, in spaces, we can use all those other features in here as well, as well as even set the recency for the web search as to how far back or close we want the search to be run. So let's dive in. We've I've already shown you the basic search question for fast answers. We're actually going to take things up a notch and start creating an in-depth report for our business plan. So I'm going to drop a pretty short prompt in here. 
um, to show you how powerful this is. I want to open a ghost kitchen focused on healthy meal prep delivery, research the most profitable food delivery niches, analyze successful ghost kitchen models, and create a business plan including menu development, pricing strategy, and delivery logistics, and scaling to multiple locations within 18 months. So we've got quite a lot packed in here, but we've got kind of a very fuzzy idea of what it, what the business will be, but we actually want to delve into the most profitable setup and growth strategy as long along with actually starting to develop the menu that would suit this. So I might actually turn on for fun, we might turn on academic and social in here, just to make sure we're not missing anything at all. And we can run this deeper research. Um, you can see it's actually going to take a few minutes to run. So go make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and come back when it's uh, finished. And then here, after a few minutes, you can see our report is ready. Um, as I showed you in the last step, it cites everything and cites all the data that it's pulling. But you can see this time it's actually pulled and created our report from 175 sources, not just 10. There's also other tabs at the bottom, at the top here, which shows you the steps it took in actually building its report, as well as an assets area of stuff it's built for us. But I'll go through that in a second, because you can see here it's built out a nice executive summary, all well laid out with data and citations. Plus, if you highlight anything in your research, you can actually click add to follow up and check sources. So that's a nice little thing that you can do. You can use the check sources button to actually go and double check, find more extra sources on that information which is useful or click add to follow up and it's going to give it part of your next question if you say hey can we explain that a bit more now the other cool thing is it actually generates its own custom graphics so you these aren't pulled from elsewhere around the web these are actually coded up and created for you based on this custom report so you can see it's got our scaling plan here a nice visual visualization of the different food delivery niches and the growth rates and market size as well as all the top performing niches. And even based on all this research, looking at other competitors, the market size, it's even gone and done some financial projections as well, which is cool, your revenue, it's built in expenses from startup costs to how much delivery networks like Deliveroo are gonna cost, your profit and loss, average order value based on the ideas. You can see through all of this, it's come up with an idea for us as well. It's got a ghost kitchen specializing in healthy protein controlled meals, targeting health conscious consumers, busy professional and fitness enthusiasts. It's built in the research of what consumers want at the moment and healthy eating into starting to develop what our menu could look like. So further down, you'll actually see some of the menu architecture that it suggests in terms of protein bowls, prep containers, specialized diet options, meal plans with pricing, basic plans that people can actually use a subscription model, which is an interesting idea that it's come up with, as well as pricing to build this full business plan projection out. So this is a really well-rounded piece of research that's taken, what, five minutes for us to get hold of rather than, I mean, for a human to do previously, this is days and days of work to actually put this report together. But if you were to take this as an idea to an investor or someone you wanted to partner up with, they don't want just a dump of information. We need to take this to the next level to actually get it in a presentable format. So we can extend further. We can say, turn this ghost kitchen business plan into a full investor pet pitch deck, give me three to five bullet points and visuals. So we actually need to take things up a notch and switch on what's called labs mode. And this is going to help us turn our ideas into fully fleshed slides, dashboards, all sorts of things we can do in here. We might do a dashboard in a minute to show you how that might work, but we can take this onto a next level. At this point, things are going to take a little longer because it's got to actually start building, creating stuff with its AI agents, not just pulling information into a nice report. Now then, it's all done. And we've actually created two really cool things the first I'm going to show you is a dashboard and the second is the presentation. So when you actually come back into Perplexity after you finish your research, you'll have a little button on the top here which says app when you finish building out things from your research. We hit app, you can see we've actually from our research now got an investor dashboard that we can run through. We can actually put this in full screen mode here and start using it to do our presentation or send to people. We've got best case scenario, we've got worst case scenario, and it's all kind of interactive and pops out in between as we're presenting this to people. And you can export data, download all of this stuff. So this is just a really nice way to lay it out. We can also like do this, like, okay, we're starting with one location, two locations, and build up the numbers to see what happens when we get to 10 locations. 
fiddle with the average order value, order per day, but based on how busy we are, customer acquisition costs. If we're spending £40 to acquire a customer through Google Ads, how does that affect our rate as well as our monthly churn rate, food cost percentages? So we can play with all these numbers really easily, which is really nice if investors have questions during a presentation or you want different numbers coming out. We can also see our market segments, profit and growth rates, you know, everything really cool, broken down into a really clean presentation um, to present our findings or our report. Now, the other thing we actually built out, again, if we scroll back up, up in the chat was the original one, which again was a presentation. So this is just a cool, clean presentation. You know, it's not overly designed. This is generally like giving great feedback. We could take this in and, and add some stuff to it and get it to add more imagery, have something ready to go in really just a matter of minutes from deep research into presentation to start pitching our ideas, feeding back stuff to people, whatever it is you're researching and building. Perplexity can do it accurately, and then it can build out really nice presentations based off reports for you as well. And honestly, the fact that you can just use it as a normal LLM, if you just want to write stuff and use Claude or ChatGPT LLM models, the large language models to actually write stuff, that's a massive bonus. So you can do all in one with this platform. And to be honest, the plans are no more expensive. £20 a month, you can get this up and running for yourself. Education, you can actually, if you're a student, you can get 12 months free as a student or an educator. So honestly, if you're a student, this is free to use. That's pretty epic.